Well, 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 folks. Seems like Google is out here playing Monopoly. Literally. And guess what? You're not even the player. You're just the piece that gets knocked over while they buy every property on the board. But what else is new, right? So, let me break it down for you. When a company gets so big that it runs the whole game, they can do whatever they want. You got no options left. Like seriously, what you gonna do? Go to Bing? Ha! That's like leaving McDonald's because their ice cream machine's broken and hitting up a gas station for sushi. Ain't nobody doing that. See, Google ain't just your friendly neighborhood search engine anymore. Nah, they're like that one ex who won't leave you alone, showing up everywhere. Need to send an email? That's Gmail. Want to watch a funny cat video? YouTube, also Google. Want to drive somewhere? Google Maps got you. They're in your phone, your TV, your fridge, probably spying on your pizza toppings, too. But here's where it gets real slimy. They're not just collecting your data and throwing ads in your face like it's a parade. Nah, they're rigging the whole system. Want to be at the top of a Google search? Better have that big money, because they're not boosting your website unless you fork over some serious cash. It's like trying to get into an exclusive club, but they keep raising the velvet rope until only the rich folks get in. And the rest of us? We're stuck in the alley trying to Google our way out. And don't even get me started on the ads. It's like Google thinks we're all just out here with cash to blow. Nah, Google, we're broke. But somehow you're still charging us for breathing your air. It's like trying to escape a maze, and every exit is just another Google service. But the kicker? Google's out here paying Apple. Yeah, Apple. $18 billion just to be the default search engine on iPhones. So next time you're typing on your little iPhone, just remember, Google is sitting in the back, counting stacks like a villain from a Bond movie. Talk about playing dirty. All the while, Google's been hiding other websites like they're putting them in the witness protection program. Seriously, you ever notice how, when you search for something, it's always Google Answers or their AI popping up first? They're straight up taking info from other websites, slapping their name on it, and then acting like they did the work. That's like me stealing your fries and telling you I made them from scratch. Yo, Google, you ain't slick. But hey, let's dive into the real talk. What's this behavior really saying about us as a society? We've basically handed over all our freedom to one company. We've become so dependent on convenience that we don't even question what we're giving up. Privacy? Gone. Choices? Forget about it. Google's got us so locked in, they don't even have to play fair anymore. They just flash a shiny new feature, and we all go, ooh, look at the new tech. Meanwhile, they're robbing us blind. It's like a magic trick. Look here. And while you're distracted, they're emptying your wallet. How did we get here, huh? We've trained ourselves to accept the bare minimum while these megacore run circles around us. Just look at their appeal game. Google's out here appealing lawsuits left and right, dragging it on for years. Years. By the time it's over, they'll be on to the next hustle. And we'll be sitting here like, wait, didn't we just sue them for something? It's like watching a slow-motion car crash, but instead of airbags, we got, well, Google ads. Look, here's the deal. Google's a symptom of a bigger problem. We let companies get too powerful, and then we're shocked when they use that power to make themselves richer. But are we really surprised? Nah, we knew what was going on. We just didn't want to admit that maybe, just maybe, convenience comes at a price. And here's the twist, folks. We're not even the customers anymore. We're the product. Google doesn't need to keep us happy. They just need to keep us using their stuff. Why? Because the real money's in selling our attention to the highest bidder. So what do we do now? Honestly, I don't have the magic answer, but I do know one thing. Don't trust a company that's more interested in controlling the game than playing fair. Google's not just a search engine anymore. It's the new overlord, and we're all just living in its algorithm. But hey, at least you got me, Bandit, calling it like it is. And I'm not charging you $18 billion to do it. Stay sharp, trash talkers. Don't let them play you like a broken algorithm. Catch you in the next one.